What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to live stream without lags, because let's be honest, if you're watching a live stream and it's not just a video that just needs to buffer, but it's actually live, everybody hates lagging, you know? And they think like, oh, it's my internet speed of the viewer and I need to reboot my app or like update my app. I'm gonna show you guys also how to like reduce as much lag as possible because like, like I've mentioned, everybody hates lagging during live streams and dropping frames. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and as always let's get started right after the intro So right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream. Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now let's continue with the video. All right, guys, so now that we are in Twitch Studio, it is basically pretty straightforward to actually reduce the lag because it's not completely possible to like reduce it all the way because there's always gonna be a little bit of a lag because of internet like ups and downs. So what you need to do is go to these three stripes at the top left and we're gonna go to settings. Now, right now we're gonna click on stream, click on re-optimize settings, then it's going to do a little internet test. So it's testing my internet speed right now and then it's going going to actually get settings based on my speed. So you don't need to mess around with like bit rates and resolutions and all that because my internet speed is capable of streaming at 720p at 60 frames per second. Now right here it says where your stream may appear choppy or blurry due to your internet connection and hardware. So I would turn that down obviously to 30 FPS. But if you don't do that automatically, what you can do obviously is put down the resolution, for example, from 1920 to 1280 by 720. It is just going to reduce the lag a little more because if you're going to stream at 60 fps it is going to be 60 frames per second and your internet speed actually needs to handle that as well but if you want to reduce it put that one to 30 and the bit rate i would basically mess around with like what works best so just go ahead and go live on your channel but on a private like live stream or an unlisted live stream and then watch it again on your mobile phone so you can see like how smooth it's going and if it's like really choppy and really laggy put down the bit rate it can actually do a a lot and also a very important thing is that you want to take the server that is the closest to you so if you're living in the united states you're not going to take a server from europe for example for like amsterdam it also counts for the opposite because these servers are so much far away than for example the european servers and that can also reduce the lag now what is optional is reduce the resolution of your game as well so if your gameplay is running at 1080p 60 fps full screen try to switch it down to 720p 30 fps in window mode because let's be honest if you're going to stream window mode can also do the job i would really pay attention to those couple borders around your gameplay as long as you're able to crop that out in the actual broadcast software which is twitch studio in this case you can just fit that one to screen and nobody's able to tell that you're playing in window mode so guys a really short tutorial just make sure to use these tips put down the bit rate put down the fps and maybe the resolution of your stream and in game as as well because that can reduce the lag and also try to use a cable internet connection instead of Wi-Fi because cable is way more stable as well and Wi-Fi is just going to like be a little less stable than you when you're using cable internet so guys this was the last episode of this mixer series and how to use it and how to stream with twitch studio I want to thank own3d.tv for all the assets for all the overlays they provide on the website a big shout out to them for sponsoring this video and this is basically how to reduce the lag if you would like to see more videos about streaming let me know down in the comments so guys that's it for this video make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that if you like this video smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials and i will see you guys obviously in my next video